You've likely seen them on your social media. Your friends' and family's photos making them look like avatars in different categories such as sci-fi or mystical. The craze begs the question, what is AI? Well, AI is artificial intelligence, but a lot of people don't realize that AI is already in their life. There's a lot of AI that's used everywhere. Um, obviously, on your phone, um, they use uh, tracking on your phone to do face unlock, uh, and it learns your face. It learns um, what kind of things you do on Facebook and, uh, you know, like some of your spending habits, uh, all of that kind of stuff. Edmonton, according to AI, this looks more like Calgary. Lincoln Ho uses AI regularly in his job as a social media content creator. He uses AI to create backgrounds for videos, to write emails, even to act as a personal assistant and write paragraphs of information for his projects. He's also experienced some of the pitfalls that come with a lack of human touch. I posted a few things uh, that are regular conversations that AI has flagged um, and it has flagged my account. And when there's no person involved to actually look at some of those comments, um, it does frustrate uh, the user because I could be locked out of my Facebook account. Lenza is currently the app many people are using to generate the so-called AI selfies. Ho warns that apps like these often are not real AI and your personal information could be at risk. In fact, in Lenza's privacy policy that users must agree to when purchasing their doctored pictures, it states that the photos you supply may be used to train their AI's neural network. Ho says it's a reminder that when you're paying a few dollars for some fun photos, you're also giving away personal data. I do warn people, uh, be very cautious of the information that you give to some of these things uh, where they claim to be AI and then you get all these images back because they're taking your information as well and they're also sharing it with other uh, parties. In Edmonton, Bianca Millions, City News.